Yandarwa County is largely known for potato production in Kenya, contributing over 33% of the produce. But more often than not, farmers have very little to show for it due to poor yields and prices. Now, an American farmer living in the country is, however, keen on changing that as he uses a technology dubbed apical root cutting to produce seed potatoes on his farm. Dennis Otieno has more on this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> Would you ditch a career in medicine for farming? This is what Chris Gasberry did after moving to Kenya with his family over six years ago when he quickly noticed a gap in the potato market. So I did it a little bit larger scale. My parents have a business back in the U.S. that use a lot of produce, so I produce uh, some produce for that business. Uh, and then when I came over to Kenya, I uh, just naturally got into farming and uh, quickly realized that uh, the seed demand uh, here in Kenya wasn't being met. So I started in the ware production business of the potatoes. And then as I realized that the seeds weren't there to continue my business, I started to research uh, into ways to be able to produce my own seeds. And that's how I got into uh, this new technology of apical root cuttings. A kilometer away from Charagita Junction in Nyandarwa, Gasperi delights in his 10-acre farm. It is one of the highest points in the county, sitting at 2,830 meters above sea level. And it is here where Gasberry, who is now a certified seed potato farmer, is using apical root cutting technology to produce quality potato seeds. It's a bit of a technical crop uh, that needs a lot of care uh, to be able to make it successful, but it actually starts from the lab is where we keep a pure gene of the potato varieties. And then we produce a parent stock uh, in which we then make cuttings to make our apical root technology. The cutting is similar to a nursery grown seedling, except that it is grown through vegetative means and not from the seeds. The ever-cheerful farmer says potato seed farming is an unexploited opportunity in Kenya. With just the farming practices that we're introducing mm -hmm. uh, with this model, mm -hmm. uh, we've actually doubled production for some of these farmers in that you'd see the average farmer can produce around 60 bags per acre. We're averaging over 100 acres on our farm, over 100 bags mm -hmm. per acre. You'll see that with proper farming practices with clean seed uh, and using the right fertilizers and chemicals, uh, you can make an astronomical change on some of these uh, local farmer level. It has a multi-use. You can use it for chips. You can use it for baking. You can use it for mokimo. You can use it for uh, githeri. This one they use in a lot of different circumstances. But there is a cost to using the rooted apical cuttings technology. On the hub site when we start with an apical root cutting they can range anywhere between 10 shillings to 15 shillings per piece so that's per plant so if you're looking at it on an acreage uh, you use about 17,000 to 20,000 cuttings per acre so it's somewhere between 200,000 to 250,000. Having worked with farmers from the major potato growing regions in the country, Gasberry is not only keen on getting the best quality seeds, but is also hoping to eliminate brokers who are for a long time exploited potato farmers in the country. We try to empower these farmers to be able to produce as much as they can. Uh, and then we also give them fair pricing for all the potatoes they're producing. So this gives them some consistency in their farming in that you're not just waiting for someone to come to your house to take your potatoes before you actually plant them you actually know what you're going to be making on the other end Denis Otieno Smart Farm <laughs>